Good morning, students. I'm back again here with another segment of letter writing, and that is formal letter writing. Yesterday, uh, if you remember, we studied uh, informal letter writing, which is uh, which I believe is little easier than formal letter writing. Now, why when why I say it is easier because. Uh, Obviously, when you are writing letter to your brothers, sisters, or to your friends, or to your uncles, you don't have to follow the actual decorum of a language. But when you are writing to to um, editors of different newspapers, or to your uh, to your officers, or to to you know complaining about things, you have to be very very particular about the decorum of the language. So um, you don't have to worry because I'm here to uh, easy the task for you, and I'll tell you how. The toughest of the letters can be written in the simplest of the ways. So let's discuss um, first the format of the formal letter writing. So when it comes to the structure of uh, formal letter writing, let me tell you, first comes the sender's address. See, this is very common. It was an informal letter also. The first thing was sender's address. We were always writing our address. Then comes the date. This was also there. So you don't have to worry for any other thing. Same thing. Okay, sender's address and date is the same. Now, third thing is changing here. So, sweethearts, what you have to do is like when you're writing the formal letter, you have to understand that the third step would be the recipient's address. Recipient address means the person who is going to receive your letter because uh, because uh, you know uh, up till now you have been studying informal letter writing where we were not supposed to write the letter of the person who was receiving the letter like we would never write our parents address or uncle's address like we would never write it there but in this letter writing always remember to write the recipient address or the person who is receiving the address now th next come the subject now this is also new here because we were not following it there now uh, you know subject is very very important because uh, uh, because through this you are here uh, telling the person what is your objective of writing that letter next is the greeting now greeting is common greeting was there also greeting is here also but there's a little change the little twist here because here you don't have to say um, like too much into like dear or my loving like you have to avoid such words generally we write mr sharma mrs this generally we address but in certain cases where you really know the receiver very well you can write dear sir or dear madam generally we avoid it we say respected madam or respected sir next is the first paragraph now the first paragraph of uh, in this formal letter writing is very very important because this is the paragraph where you have to give the introduction of the purpose of your writing that particular letter like you have to say why you are writing that letter for example if i'm writing a letter about the breakdown of electricity in my area uh, my first this thing would be that my point of writing is to highlight the attention of the authorities towards the problem of breakdown of electricity in this and this area next comes the body paragraphs now when i talk about the body paragraphs actually after the introductory paragraph the second and the third paragraph they would only go on with the problem which you are to discuss there in that particular letter now next is the last paragraph now now here comes the final paragraph final paragraph means the summarize like how you're going to summarize like you know what is your intention of writing the letter generally uh, I would say that you know when I summarize a letter uh, that to a formal letter I would say that I just hope that the concerned authorities will take some necessary action and I am looking forward for a quick reply or blah blah like you know we, we generally summarize a letter by these sentences. Then comes the complimentary close. Now, complimentary close is similar. It was informal also and it's informal also. So, complimentary close here is little different. We won't say that with love or like, you know, we would never use all those things. Here, we are very, very formal. So, we would say yours faithfully, yours sincerely or yours truly is also sometimes welcomed. Now comes the signature. So, once you finish writing, you have to put your signature there. 
Now comes the important. Now, now you would be asking, like signature, people may not understand who is this person. So after below the signature, you have to write your name. And this is how you would be finishing with formal letter writing. Now moving on with the structure, I'll be telling you how you have to do it. So first you will write your address. House number 91, uh, you can say uh, Sulani Puram Rurki. Okay, then comes the date. Now, which date you are writing? Today's date also you can take. Then is the recipient address. See, this thing was different, like you know, it was not there here uh, in those uh, you know informal letters. So, this thing is different here. You have to write the recipient. For example, your recipient may be in class 8. Generally, we write letters to the editor. So, you will write the editor, Times of India, New Delhi, you know. And the pin code then comes the subject now subject you may wonder what is the subject so subject is the question like is the problem which you are raising through that question for example there is a question write a letter about the cattle menace on the road so the subject would be the frequent cattle menace on the road in my locality that is the salutation. Now, salutation is, dear sir, ma'am, I've generally avoid, I would personally avoid, I would say respected sir, madam, or Mr. Mr. Sharma, Mr. whatever way, like, you know, you can say respected sir, or dear sir is also okay, that doesn't make a difference. Now, body of the letter. Now, body of the letter means you have to begin your problem. Generally, the first sentence is always the same. What do we say in the first sentence? Through the esteemed columns of your reputed newspaper, I want to draw the attention of the concerned parties towards the problem problem of this so that is the body of the letter then comes the subscription which i say complimentary close subscription is always yours faithfully yours truly yours okay this is how you have to write your subscription then comes the signature signature is like you have to put your signature and below that always in a bracket write your name because the signature may not signify who you are and uh, I just hope that I have made myself clear and tomorrow I will come with a solved example of a formal letter writing. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Thank you.